Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm here to do your love reading for October 2022. I'm going to take a look at this person's intentions and feelings towards you. So if you're new, do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Personal reading links are below this video. If you want to get a, a, a reading with me, just click the link. Um, yeah, so be mindful. Aries, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take with it, leave the rest. And let's get into this reading. Um, take a look at their intentions and feelings towards you while in separation let's take a look and see what the current energy is with this person okay wow current energy is love new beginnings okay so aries somebody here definitely has beautiful love for you that's for sure um they want to have a child with you if you're of that age um propose to you make some kind of or have some kind of relationship or proposal for marriage of some sort this is the current energy okay and i, I don't know if you know like I, i'm going to take a look at the cause of a breakup or a split or what the issues are here but currently right now as you're listening to this it could be a water sign you're connecting with this person this is it's like a blessing is being rained down on them and saying to them, this is your person. Aries is your person, okay? Aries is the one. This is an, an outpouring of emotion, very, a, a tremendous amount of feeling that this person has for you, Aries, okay? Um, let's take a look and see what the root cause of a, a split, a separation, um, what's going on at this time, okay? Well, what was going on? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, so root cause of the split is I feel like somebody works too much. They put work before the love. <laughs> work before the relationship. Commitments to and priorities to money, priorities to their career, priorities to other family members or people in the household, um, a business. Um, very focused on it just feels like so it could be a water sign it could be an earth sign I feel like this person it could be you Aries it could be you um, there's a lack of love here but okay the reason for the split but now there's a new initiate there's a there's a beginning a new a new happening in love in the current energy so if there's like you guys are not talking or, or even if you are but things are not like very romantic or they're kind of dull and drab and it's like the everyday you know the kids the house the work the the car uh the bills all that stuff there's no romance in a relationship that i feel somebody here okay in this connection might have said you know there's no there's no love here there, there's it's like we're just best friends living together or we are just and i know that's gonna be for all of you that's kind of specific but i feel like somebody is sitting here or thought to themselves you know why keep going you know we're just it's like we're business partners it's like we're roommates it's like we're friends there's no love it's a loveless it, it feels like it was a loveless it became that way a loveless connection you know love is the glue <laughs> that keeps it together you know I mean why else I mean why else would people have babies you know <laughs> I mean to keep having children it's not exactly the most comfortable position to be in in labor but it's that love you know because the love we want to have child so yeah I, I feel like that really is the strongest message here but currently then here comes the love <laughs> here comes the love now it's coming in to infuse be infused back into this connection okay what are their uh, true feelings for you right now Aries what what are this person's what are their true feelings for you right now okay wow hmm. okay well that's judgment that's karma well they definitely have clarity I feel like this person um their feelings are you are their life you are their life pur purpose this is clarity this is like a wake-up call i don't feel like this person wants the split 
I feel like they realize now that they weren't loving you. They weren't giving you enough love. And, and they're feeling that hole. They're feeling that lack. Okay. And, and this void, there's an absence makes the heart grow fonder. And that heart chakra energy is opening up, growing fonder. A uh, wake up call, uh, coming to terms and saying, you know, wow, this was lifeless. This was our loveless. We had everything, but we lost the romance. Okay, the loss, we lost the love. All right, um, for some of you, wild judgment can represent Aries or uh, Scorpio energy. So you might've had connection um, with those two signs or an earth sign, of course. Oh, goodness, well, that was a sign. Um, let's take a look and see what are this, what are their intentions towards Aries at this time? What, what are their intentions towards Aries now? Huh. Okay. Four of Wands. So they want to reunite. They want to get back together. They want to bring the family back intact, put it back intact, put the relationship back intact, celebrate, maybe renew vows. If you're still married, um, build that house, give all this, you know, do all this, put that structure back in, but with romance, restructurize the relationship and bring that love back in. They want to celebrate, um, be happy. I feel like, you know, this is a card of celebrations. This person wants to be happy again with you. Um, and I feel like they're coming, you know, like I said, the, I don't know if they've been praying or if like spirit's grace has been coming down on this person and saying, all you need is love. <laughs> Beatles, maybe somebody's, maybe somebody's name is John, Paul. Um, yeah, bringing that love back in for sure. So these are their intentions at this time. Okay, let's take a look and see what the future nature of this relationship is. What's going to happen in the future? Okay, King of Swords. Oh, okay. Hmm. If you guys are divorced, um, there's a possibility you could remarry definitely, um, in the future and fix a relationship here. Um, now some of you might actually be going through some kind of a divorce and might actually see it through. Okay, because um, some of you might already be in the mix of it, okay? I mean, I guess you could pull back at any time, but I feel like there might be some like legal compl complications. Um, but for others, okay, and I, and I only say divorce, uh, it's not a prediction of actual divorce if you're married or uh, just separating with this person forever. I'm just seeing if you're already going through like a legal situation, okay, um, like that, then I feel like you guys might just see it through and then revisit it before the end of October again and say, my, oh, maybe this was a mistake. Or this person might actually say, no, 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 I don't want to, like clarity and truth. And I feel like overall, um, this person is going to say to you, I don't want us to I don't, don't hire a lawyer. I'm not going to hire a lawyer. I think we can fix this. I think we can salvage our, our relationship. The love is still there. I still love you. You know, um, even if it's not marriage, it can be marriage it, 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 going in that direction, which is what, like, I want to do right by you. Maybe you're connected to a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. I want to do right by you in front of a hierarchy, in front of an authority figure, you know, justice, the justice card, when we have the justice card, that's like, that's legal, that's the law. But we, we have the hierophant, that's um, a spiritual law, okay? Spiritual principles, that's uh, morals, okay? And doing right and getting clear on that. So um, a living, um, I don't want to say living right because everybody has different moral and spiritual principles, but this person I feel like wants to live with the, the laws, 
Do you know what I mean? Like, if I was going to put it in a particular way, like no cheating, no lying, uh, no gossiping. Um, they want to do the right thing, um, level up in, in their, I don't know why this is coming up. could be a Taurus level up in uh, change their spiritual beliefs this person might not have really believed or had spiritual beliefs that ace of cups is a gift a spiritual gift that that's a blessing the person that you are connected with might have just been you know I, i'm thinking i'm seeing an image of somebody like a bricklayer someone who's laying bricks brick upon brick upon brick but the thing that holds the bricks together is the mortar in between this person did not have mortar they were just stacking bricks so the mortar to me represents the love and the belief and the faith there was a lack of that in this connection and i feel like this person wants to actually take a look at that and they don't want to lose this relationship they don't want to lose your relationship okay and I feel like um, that the future of your relationship is that's where the change is going to be. Not it's going to be on the inside. Okay, it's the mortar between the bricks that's going to change. So let me see, Aries, what is the best step for you to take? And I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication with this King of Swords energy. Um, someone who, you know, very intentional and strategic about their thoughts and their plans and their communication. Crystal clear. Um, okay, let me see. What's the best step for Aries to take at this time? What should Aries do? Okay, wow. You have the Knight of Wands. So, man, your advice here is <laughs> Aries. Well, I feel like it's really just your advice is to just keep being you. You're not wrong, I just heard. You're not wrong. I don't know what that means, but maybe that resonates for you. They're saying to tell you, you, you were right. You're not wrong about something. Um, go after what you want. If whatever it is that you, whatever your beliefs are about this relationship, about this connection, stick by your moral code. Stick by. Take charge of a situation. Take charge of your life. Stick by your beliefs. In your situation here, the best step for you to take going forward is, this, is to keep taking steps forward. That Knight of Wands is an action card. Keep taking action in your life. Keep moving forward in that free-spirited way that you are because there's, you're a leader, Aries. That's the cardinal fire energy. You are always in a position of being a pioneer and going after you want, what, we, what you want and what you believe to and what you know to be true. And I almost kind of feel like don't change. That's also the best step for you to take in October going forward. Don't change. I'm just hearing they keep saying this to me. Everything you said to this person, everything that you tried to express to them, you were right. And, and they're actually probably going to be maybe that's them saying it to you but this is almost like a reassurance them saying to you and and spirit everyone's coming into agreement everyone who doubted you or the person who doubted you or thought that you were being crazy or that you know what's love got to do with it tina it they're like oh wow wait a minute <laughs> everybody's like aries was right kicking themselves and and then that's going to come back around to you Okay, so keep moving forward, Aries. I love it. Your reading was really awesome. But I'll be back in November to do another one of these readings. We'll see how things go for you. Maybe what changes might come up. Okay, or if there's still a split or what have you. Um, if there's any other issues. But yeah, I feel like things are going to work out here. All right, you guys. Love you very much. Aries, have a good one. Bye.